This is Feature Minus, so I have came across some disturbing testimony about the moon and if anyone has went there or not. And so people's first clue should be that we have to find alternative words and stuff to even discuss to this topic. We got to beat around the bush. It's like we can't really say direct words. So the fact that we have to cover up how we even talk about this subject and we got to find ways around to even get this discussion out should be a sign to most people that something's going on there because it should be a free and open discussion, especially if there's nothing to hide, right? So there's this new testimony that has came out. I've released lots of testimony and I'll leave a link to all my testimony uh, videos in the comment section and description box because I have a whole lot of testimony, but this newest one might be the best one yet. It's coming from the son of an astronaut. He grew up uh, and his dad, you know, he thought his dad had went there to the moon. And then, well, as the son got older, the dad explained to the son, you know, what had happened. It sounded like he might have waited, the dad might have waited till he was elderly and about to pass. Till he told his son, from what I, from what I can understand from the interview, um, in the testimony, but it sounds like the dad finally confessed. He said he had to. He couldn't hold it in any longer because it was just too big of a deception. So he had to tell somebody to clear his conscience. It sounded like he might have been, uh, well, had some religious um, beliefs or something. I don't know, but he felt like he had to get um, get this out to his son. So he told his son. And he confided in him and told him that, well, what he told him was the moon situation never happened. It was filmed on a military base. They use powder cement for the you know moon uh, to make it look like footprints and stuff was in it. Um, he said they had to order a bunch of powdered cement and they mixed it, I think it was sand or something, but he's saying there was a, it was a straight up movie set um, black walls set up. I guess they didn't want to show the stars, so they just had black walls because the stars would have been too complicated to try to recreate, especially during the 60s. So, um, yeah, the, so the dad told him everything. Um, and the son, and then, and then eventually the dad had passed. But, um, uh, before the dad passed, I mean, he also told the son how there was, um, a non-disclosure agreement so he wasn't supposed to tell anybody about that what he told his son and it sounded like there might have been some close calls possibly uh, but the dad explained that basically he could go to jail if um he speaks on this or worse um it was a very serious uh, agreement in place for him not to speak on what had happened and took place. So that's why he is waiting till he was old um, and about to pass before he told anyone from what it sounds like. And then so the son took the information and then the son held the information. He was very afraid after um, hearing that information. I think there was some threats possibly um with jail and all types of stuff. Uh, I think, well, actually it sounded like the son was saying there was actually some close calls um, for their safety. So it was a very uh, terrifying thing for the son, it sounded like. And as the son grew older, um, the son ended up becoming terminally ill himself. So he kept all the information that sounded like to himself pretty much his whole life. And, um, it came to a point where the son was terminally ill and that's when he uh, recorded a confession. So the son has um, recorded a testimony of everything that the, um, his dad told him, the astronaut. And um, he, he, he made sure the video got to the right person and he was instructed the person who who he gave the video to was instructed not to release the video until after he passes the son was totally expecting to pass 
It sounded like a very serious, terminally ill situation he was in. So he and it might have been related possibly to uh, the, the information, because I know they're they're saying that some of these societies and because it sounds like a lot of the um, people who go to space are in the secret group. And it sounds like that secret group, they might have some situations where it sounds like they have something to where they can trigger your terminally ill situation like they have that control over the people that's how they control them they control them with blackmail and stuff like that where i heard i think it was aaron russo or somebody was saying like yeah they have something where they can flip on a switch and that person won't be around much longer if they start doing things they don't want them to do so i don't know if it was connected to why this dude was terminally ill but it's possible but the son gave the video to Somebody he trusted and said, do not release this until after he, he goes. He said he's not expecting to be around for much longer. And so he the uploader waited. And now it sounds like the son has finally passed from his situation. And now the uploader has came forward and said, yep, he's he has some he has a big video to release. And now this video has gone viral. It's like just on youtube alone it's uh it's like close to a million already i think it's like, at like 750 750 thousand as of the time of this recording and i think it's just been out for like 13 days or something so far uh other platforms i think have it up too i don't know how, how many views they got on the other platforms but this is a big one this might be one of the biggest testimonies since the buzz uh when buzz had admitted they didn't go there uh, to that to that girl he was he, to that um little girl he was talking to so basically the son well when you watch the testimony and I'm gonna leave the link to the testimony in the comment section in the description box and I'm also gonna leave another link with all the testimonies I've uploaded but in this newest testimony I mean it was it was pretty disturbing with you know how how he he was so afraid of releasing it, but he he went on to name specific names. You're gonna be familiar with some of the names he was naming off of who was involved in this whole situation with the moon and making people believe they went there. Even names like James Webb came up and a, a whole lot of other names. Um, so um, the son goes to verify that this is a true story by showing his father's badge number. And, um, you know, because, like I said, he was an astronaut. His, his dad was an astronaut. So the son was handed down the uh, the uniform, I believe, and the, the badge number and the pins and the stripes his dad had accomplished during his life. So the, uh, the son goes on to show and reveal that he really was the son of this astronaut so you can look up if you wanted to research you could look up the badge number and see if it traces back to the son and the dad and, and see that his story is legit so he's saying basically the moon situation was a filming it was about a three-day production on a military base and he, he, he explains everything this isn't the first testimony, like I said, so make sure you check out all the testimonies that I've uploaded in. But this is the main one that you're going to want to definitely check out right now. Um, so check it out. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Uh, I'm also going to leave links if you would like to subscribe to my other channels or my social media. Uh, and I'll leave some other links as well. Um, I'm also going to leave a link if you would like to support this channel to help keep feed your mind online you can donate as little as a dollar and your support will help me get out much more documentary styles plus you're helping keep this channel online because they try to suppress a lot of my videos so with listener support we can keep going and um so thanks for tuning in please like comment share and subscribe this has been feed your mind signing off